After not having access to their cars for months, drivers are protesting outside of a Fordham parking garage, demanding for their cars back. News 12's Cecilia Hua was there to hear their cries for help. Outcries from frustrated drivers whose cars have been stuck in this Fordham parking garage for more than four months. I don't understand how it takes four months or over four months for you to fix a parking lot. We pay, we, we're paying for this, for this service, for our cars to be secure, and our cars are not secure. The car elevator in the garage has been down since February. That's when the Department of Buildings says a car and a freight operator fell into the elevator pit. For those who depend on their cars to make a living, the past few months have been extra difficult. I have some money saved up, but it's been four to five months without work and with no car. You have to pay insurance. I'm paying $547 for insurance, and I'm not generating an income. Car owners tell me the garage is still open for business, allowing cars to come in and out on the first floor. But they are demanding that the garage be shut down and for management to fix the elevator immediately. One, two, three, four. Four floors. Maybe hundred something more. I'm so it's over, over hundred cars up there. You know, it's you know? Ridiculous. Something like and they still making money. Yeah. The the people. Yeah, they don't Every have no respect. You. We've reached out to the management, Rusi Holding Corporation. The, the elevator is not being repaired. It's a prime elevator being installed. When are you hoping it will open? And within the next 30 days, assuming that uh, the Burns Department signs off on it. Meanwhile, the Department of Buildings tells us there is an active permit for the property and it was approved on April 18th. As for the stranded drivers, they tell us they're now looking to take legal action against the garage. In Fordham, Cecilia Hua, News 12.